here the SID Display Week with the Kixo and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Sang and I'm the CEO of Kixo and we built machine learning based user interaction platform. So today I'm presenting a solution called Touch Tools. It's a solution that allows conventional multi-touch devices to understand your intention just by looking at the pose of your hand touching the screen. So when you're interacting with an interactive surface like this, typically you would use your finger to draw and when you want to erase this line, you would typically would need to go to a toolbar, select the eraser, come back and erase. But rather than doing that, what if the device can understand that you're looking for an eraser just by looking at the pose of your hand that's touching the screen? So now I'm imagining that I'm holding an eraser, put my hand down, and I get an eraser. But what if you want to draw a straight line? In order to draw a straight line, I need to use a ruler. So ruler is about this big, right? And I can hold my ruler with my fingers and then draw a line. Or if I want to change the color of the, the line, I'm gonna open up my color palette, which is like a dial. Select color, I'm gonna go, oh, let's go with white. I can draw a white line. Or what if I want to measure the distance of this line? In real life, I'll be grabbing a you know, tape measure and then pulling out the tape measure to measure the distance of the line. Or if I want to capture the image, in real life I'm gonna be grabbing my camera and putting it down on the screen, grab a camera, and then I can do a partial screenshot of that part. So it's basically a very intuitive way to summon the virtual tools without having to come up with a cumbersome gesture or even going to the toolbar. You can come out with, you can, you know, summon those virtual tools on the spot. Just imagine that you're holding the actual physical tools and putting it on the screen. So it works on the iPad also or an yeah, Android? Yeah, it can or? work on um, interactive whiteboards or even on a tablet. So this is a demo to show you how touch tools can work on a like automobile environment. So if you're driving a, a car with an interactive surface or the touch screens, um, typically in a conventional cars, you use the dial to change the volume or change the music, but on a touch screen, you actually have to focus on the screen in order to operate. So rather than doing that, what if you can summon a dial, like a big dial, just by changing the hand pose of grabbing a dial. Anywhere on the screen, right, you will get your dial. Or if you want to change the station, I'm going to grab a smaller dial and turn the knob to change the station. Right? Well, or if I want to open up a sunshade, typically I got a sunshade that, you know, sunroof that I can slide to open. So I'll slide with my Are fingers. you able to have this functionality on top of any Android app? It can Is work this Android? On, yes, it can work on top of any Android app or even an iOS or even... Uh, iOS also on top of anything? Or yeah, do you well, have to run your app to make for it to work? Well, our solution is a platform, um, is an interaction platform, so it can work on top of any app. Or if we want to customize our functions for a certain app, then we can you know, build our engine into the app. All right. Do you show a different demo on this one? It's the same demo. It's a demo that's running on Windows. All right. Cool. So uh, is it license model? Yeah, our business model is a software licensing model. So uh, we work with uh, component manufacturers and OEMs to um, embed our solution into their device. And so how soon is, is this already shipping, people are having this? So How's this coming? platform, Touch Tools, will be available in the market um, towards the end of this year. All right, cool.